of the main points that I'd like to talk about in today's video is actually dealing with negative comments and judgments. Um, it's something that I feel really passionate about because when I was trying to probably do this in the first time around, getting to know my voice, uh, trying to find my art, that was when I was a child. I feel like as a child, for me, my priorities were to make my parents proud, to not be naughty, um, to learn through them. And if they're gonna tell me it's gonna be very hard for you to find a job in art, it's not a very reliable income, like I'm definitely going to listen to that. I'm so glad I did because it wouldn't have got me where I am today. But when I start to hear the similar comments, not from my parents by the way, but similar comments from other people um, who are also close to me, it just doesn't make sense in my head now as an adult and the whole idea of being in this world is to do things that we we love hopefully if we if we have the chance if we have the opportunity to do it so I definitely feel that we should take that opportunity and run with it so for those who don't know like I've actually quit my job to be a full-time mum but if I had to work there will be no one to look after my my little one and I would have to send her to full-time nursery, which is so expensive nowadays. I would be working just so that I can pay for someone else to look after my kid. And in my spare time, I spend it all on developing my art so that I can pivot my career one day to become an author illustrator. Hi, Ha. So it's a little bit later on the day. The response I usually get from this, there's the positive, like, oh yeah, that sounds really interesting. But then I get quite a lot of confused looks, like, what? At first I thought it may have been my insecurities, uh, but actually I had someone telling me that I am naive and that I'm childish. I had someone who asked me to do a favour and that they weren't in any rush and I could just do it in my spare time but then when they followed up about it a couple of weeks later they said what you haven't done it yet um, and I said yeah I've been busy and then they replied busy with what? I've had these type of comments when I was younger as well um, it's not practical, art doesn't make money, um, you need to be talented before you can actually do it, it's more complicated than you think. As a child, I understand, my goals back then were to make people proud, to be liked. I really wanted validation, which is the only thing that made me feel like I wasn't doing anything wrong. During then, I literally just scrapped those ideas, pursued something else, that they would feel more practical. Now, thinking about it, like, they just wanted me to be safe. They wanted me to be able to support my own living, which is why I get it. But I'm trying this the second time round. So why am I still getting, like, these negative reactions now? Um, I've got my own family. I've earned my own money. Um, I've even got my own place. So, but as an adult, when I hear these negative and judgmental doubts, it kind of makes me feel like I'm rejected and my thoughts are not being taken seriously. I feel like I'm not good enough and it would have been better if they said the negative comment but then followed up with something like an advice, a piece of useful information or something a bit more encouraging like there's only one way to find out, give it a go. The reason I wanted to share this today is because I really wish someone had told me something similar when I was a beginner artist. The way I'm dealing with it is they are people as well, they are humans, they're not always right and how do they really know? We don't actually know whether anyone can do anything unless they actually do it so this is where the quote living true to myself and not what others expect of me comes really handy and kind of just reinforces like i'm not hurting anyone i'm still taking care of my responsibilities at the end of the day it's like no one else's business even if it is my life people are going to judge and people are going to have opinions something to say but these are things that I just can't control. And the things that I am focusing on right now is things that I can control. 
I think it's important to like find a way to make it work peacefully so not to be like rebellious against um, the people I love but to communicate this is something that I really want to do and explain it really uh, clearly to them now if it's something that they cannot accept then fine I will still do art in my own time and what I should have done as a child when I had that type of like negative reaction is still follow the path that they want me to pursue but also still draw, still develop that art and find my way through it and just find ways of working out peacefully. What that currently looks like for this second time round is so when I had my full time job I had to make sure that I had some savings and then I told all of my closest people exactly what I'm doing, especially my partner in crime, my husband. Uh, if he wasn't able to support me, I'll definitely put my savings in and then we could have like worked it out that way. No one is going to see what I'm going to see, so it's definitely worth taking some time to kind of like talk to them, reassure them, um, but if that's still not working, I'm still talking to those people who don't really agree with what I'm doing with my life but I'm not going to mention this passion to them anymore because I've already felt the negative vibes and I need to protect that space for me right now uh, but I don't want to fall out with the people I love so the happy balance between there is still talk to them as I normally would but just leave this side of it out and instead seek it from somewhere else. So talking and meeting um, other artists locally, online, having YouTube, having um, other Facebook groups that I'm part of, being in art communities, like they give me so much support and a space where I can actually talk about art. Through this, like I've experienced the importance of understanding my why and how it can help me persevere. So if you didn't know my why is to live a peaceful life, make a sustainable living from something I enjoy doing and will give me freedom and flexibility to create and at the moment allow me to still be a full-time mum that's the actual why like that's the vision I have but unfortunately making a living is something that none of us can really control the number of likes the number of subscribers the number of sales we get how much we can make in uh, two years time for those type of things we will always need somebody else's support the only thing that we can control is ourselves and that's what I'm taking away over here. I am so focused on just giving it a go. Is there a better way of doing things? Could this actually work? I guess the answer is we won't know until we try. And then this brings me to another point. I realise that at the end of the day, no one really cares about what I do. As long as I'm not hurting them, affecting them, they don't really care. Like, what, what, what's it to them? So, if I can find a way of doing it safely, then why should I give up? Um, I really hope this video kind of reaches the right people. And if you are someone who are experiencing like negative comments, discouragements or rejection or just not being taken seriously, ignore them. Keep on following your gut and your path. Whether it's, you know, easier for you to do it quietly in the corner, then that is your way. I really hope you don't give up, but it's just something that I've experienced and I just wanted to get it out there. Now I am drawing the scene over here and I've been waiting it for it to get dark so I can understand the lighting and maybe I'll have it in this video or the next one, we shall see.